It is my pleasure to introduce an incredible group to you, and I really want you to have a good time with them tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Crimson Company. Let's get busy! Sorry, I, 
I'll do better next time, I promise. You promise me this, you promise me that, you promise me everything under the sun, and you give me a kiss and you're grabbing your hat, and you're off to the races again when I think of the time gone by, and I think of the way I tried. But I put it back. I can honestly die. Call a lawyer and sue me, sue me. What can you do me? I love you. Give a holler and hate me. Hate me. Go ahead, hate me. No. I love Best you. Best years of my life, I was a fool to give all to right, you. Alright, already. I'm just a no good Nick. Alright, already, it's true. So new. So sue me. Sue me. What can you do me? I love you. You gamble it here, you gamble it there. You gamble on everything, all except me. And I'm keeping you, just, keeping me up in the air. To you bag of the money I get when I think of the time gone by. And I think of the way I tried. I can honestly die. Just for a second. Serve a paper and sue me. Sue me. What can you do me? I love you. Give a holler and hate me. Hate me. Go ahead, hate me. I love you. You wind up in jail. Don't come to me to bail you. All right. right. So call a policeman. All right, already. It's true. So new. So sue me. Sue me. What can you do me? I love you. You're at it again. You're running the game. I'm not going to play second fiddle to that. And I'm singing a choice. Running around and I'm telling you right now. I think of the time. Goodbye. And I think of the way I tried. Look at you and touch the man. Pay for a second. I can honestly die. What can you do me? I love you. Dip da di da dip dum dum dum.
crush it. We'll take it slow. Good evening and welcome. We are the Washington State University Crimson Company Show Choir. Composed of 16 Mike Klein singers, 10 instrumentalists, and 5 sound and lighting technicians, we tour the wonderful state of Washington as goodwill ambassadors to the university and its alumni association. Our sound technicians this evening are James McMahon and Justin Smith, and our lighting technicians are Chad Carter, Sarah Bally, and Mark Hansen. My name is Jeff Yeager. I'm a freshman from Tacoma, Washington, majoring in broadcasting. Good evening. My name is Erin Clancy. I'm a freshman from Pullman, Washington, majoring in business administration. Hello, my name is Julia Berthume, and I'm a freshman from Pullman, Washington, majoring in elementary education. Good evening, my name is Brian White. I'm a recent graduate of WSU with a BA in Hotel Restaurant Administration. I'm from Walla Walla, Washington. Hello, my name is Heather Harper. I'm a freshman from Marysville, Washington, majoring in theater. Welcome, my name is Matt Morshak. I'm a freshman from Pullman, Washington, majoring in business. Hi, my name is Melissa Cusick, and I'm a sophomore from Spokane, Washington, majoring in broadcasting. Good evening, my name is Ted Reedy. I'm a freshman from Pullman, Washington, majoring in music education. Hi, my name is Devin Earls, and I'm a junior from Tacoma, Washington, majoring in vocal performance. My name is Jeremy Gunderson. I'm a sophomore from Bremerton, Washington, majoring in chemistry. Hi, my name is Mandy Makwachuk. I'm a freshman from Renton, Washington, majoring in communications. Good evening. My name is Brian Udick. I'm a freshman from Green Acres, Washington, with an undecided major. Hello, my name is Scott Anderson. I am a senior from Walla Walla, Washington, and my major is currently theater. Hi, my name is Diana Blanco. I'm a sophomore from Edmonds, Washington, majoring in music education. Good evening. My name is Isaiah Paradise. I'm a junior from Walla Walla, Washington, majoring in computer engineering.
Some faults, but for the moment, let's just say that you're a good man. On Peter Rabbit? Homework? Good at all, I'll get a fresh start tomorrow, and it's 
Not do till Wednesday, so I'll have all of Tuesday unless something should happen. Why does this always happen? I should be outside playing, getting fresh air and sunshine. I work best under pressure, and there'll be lots of pressure if I wait till tomorrow. I should start writing now, but if I start writing now when I'm not really rested, it could. Upset my thinking, which is not good at all. <gasps> the name of the rabbit was Peter. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Ha! Down came the staff on his head, smash! And Robin fell like a sack full of lead. Crash! The sheriff laughed and he left him for dead. Ha! But he was wrong. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Just then an arrow flew in. Hey! It was a sign of the fight. Peter Rabbit, which this report is about.
Beethoven's nice too. Just imagine what would you think if you and I would someday be married? Wouldn't you like that if someday we two could get married? Right. Never try to discuss marriage with a musician.
that, Charlie Brown? My name is Renee Higby. I'm a senior from Walla Walla, Washington, majoring in humanities with music and human development. I play the flute and I'm the combo director. Hi, my name is Jessica Crawford. I'm a sophomore from Tumwater, Washington. My major is music education and I play keyboards. Hi, my name is Andrew Schlichting. I'm a sophomore from Bellingham, Washington, majoring in broadcasting communications. I play the electric bass. Hi, my name is Tony Sedano. I'm a junior from Chimacum, Washington. I'm the guitar player and I'm majoring in music education. Good evening, my name is Aaron Prindle. I'm a sophomore majoring in music education. I'm from Enumclaw, Washington, and I play the trumpet. Good evening, my name is Jason Payne. I am a sophomore from Tenino, Washington, majoring in broadcasting and theater. I play the drums for the group. Hello, my name is Sparky LaPlante. I am a sophomore from Spokane, Washington, majoring in music education and performance, and I play the saxophone. Good evening, my name is Tim Counts. I'm a sophomore from Prescott, Washington, majoring in Spanish with plans to become a missionary. I play trombone. Good evening and welcome to Crimson Company. My name is Jonathan Counts. I'm a senior from Prescott, Washington, majoring in Management Information Systems. I play the trumpet. I worry about you, Mandy. Me? Why? Oh. Well, how old are you? Sixteen. You wait, little girl, on an empty stage for fate to turn the light on. Your life, little girl, is an empty page that men will want to write on. To write on. You are 16, going on 17, baby, it's time to think that I'll be wabby, canny, and careful, baby, you're from the brink. You are 16, going on 17, fellows, fall in line. Eager young lads and ways and cats will offer you food and wine. Totally unprepared are you to face a world of men? Timid and shy and scared are you of things beyond your care? You need someone older and wiser telling you what to do. I am 17, going on 18. Oh, Take care of you. I am sixteen, going on seventeen. I know that I'm naive. Fellows I meet may tell me I'm sweet and willingly I believe. I am sixteen, going on seventeen. 
bachelor dandies, drinkers of brandies. What do I know of those? Totally unprepared am I to face the world of men. Timid and shy and scared am I of things beyond my ken. I need someone older and wiser.
About this time of year, Crimson Company starts to take its performance on the road. Well, this means a lot of late nights and early mornings. Well, I'm not a morning person, so every day I ask Roger, our director, to meet me at the bus with a large cup of coffee. You know the coffee where you can just smell the beans as soon as you get it, and it tastes so good as you put it in your mouth, and you just can't wait for the next fall, and, well, you'll get the picture. Coffee to go! The trouble with real today seems to me It's coffee in a cardboard cup That's trouble with the influence of society It's coffee in a cardboard cup No one's ever casual or nonchalant No one wastes a minute in a restaurant No one wants a waitress passing pleasantries Like, hiya miss, hiya sir May I take your order, please? The trouble with the world today is plain to see It's everything is hurried up It's rushing through Don't be slow BLT I'm right to go In Java Cup of Joe Espresso Cappuccino Black coffee In a cup of cup From the Belmont cafeteria. Speak to me and gentlemen would much prefer. Good afternoon, how you been? Would you like the special sir? The trouble with the world today is plain to see. It's everything is hurrying on. There's plenty of whipping vectors. Minute rice and microwaves and coffee. I said coffee. I don't say coffee. I don't say coffee. In a cup of Coffee, 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 coffee
right back after a short intermission. here for the Crimson Company Combo. Nice job, guys. Woo! 
The director of Crimson Company enjoys going to Disneyland. However, he would have to admit that he's troubled by a few things that he ponders. Think about Snow White for a second. I mean, how many people do you think auditioned before Walt Disney for the part of Snow White? And furthermore, is that the only show she's ever done? Has she auditioned for any more shows? Or does she just walk around the park all day? Then let's think about Captain Hook. What would happen if he never wanted to be Captain Hook, but his first love was ballet? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our twisted version, our Disney version of a chorus line. Again, step, kick, kick, leap, kick, touch. 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 Right, that connects with turn, turn, out, in, touch, step, step, kick, kick, leap, kick, touch. Got it? Going on and turn, turn, touch, down, back, step, pivot, step, walk, 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 right. Now let's do the whole combination again, facing away from the mirrors. Five, six, seven, eight.
Please pass your resume photos to the right. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me explain what I'm doing here. Well, first of all, I just want to congratulate all of you for making it this far. From the 390 people that we started with this morning, it's, it's really an honor for you to be on this line. Now, the next part of this audition is going to be something that you're not really used to. I'm going to try and shake you up and see who you really are. I just want you all to know that most of you will be cut by the end of this day. I'm only looking for four girls and four boys to be in a course that will start this December. I want you to be exactly who you are. It's very important for me to know who you are and parts of your past. I want to know details. I want to know things you're proud of and things that you're not. So uh, if you could just relax as best you can, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, let's see here. Uh, third from the end. <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. You, um, tell me something about your childhood. Couldn't you start at the other end? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, just kidding. Uh, let's see. Um, when I was seven, I was in Annie, and when I was twelve, I was in Sound of Music, but since then, I really haven't done okay, much. Okay, thank you. That's, that's enough. Um, number twenty-two? Oh, um... What did you want to be when you grew up? Well, my dad, he always wanted me to play football, and I guess my mom the same. But me, I just wanted to sing. I could sing all the... <laughs> what, is that so bad? All right, stop. This isn't working. Now, will you people just stop acting and be real? Look, I want to know what your childhood was like, not what your mom and dad wanted you to be or just what shows you were in. Never mind, let's just move on. Um, you and the red cape. Uh, sing something from a show you've been in. This is from my very first show. I'm wishing for the one I love to find me. Okay, um, if you could be anything, what would it be? If I could be anything, I always wanted to be a country singer. I'd like to be a country singer like Loretta Lynn with a deluxe win a bagel that I would travel in. I'd have wings like Dolly Parton. That was, uh, very interesting. <clears throat> I think I get the picture. All right, moving on. Uh, number four. Your name, please? Uh, Prince. 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry. I, I mean your, your real name. No, really, it's Prince. Like, at the Disney Studios? Well, uh, my name was formerly known as Prince. <laughs> well, uh, if you'd really like to know, my given name at birth was uh, Prince Charming by Roger and Early Charming. You know, uh, Ariel, Snow White, Cinderella? I've done them all. <laughs> I mean, I was the prince. <laughs> right. What? Um, the two male chorus parts in this show have uh, little bit parts and solos. Can you just sing a prepared piece for me a cappella? Do I love me because I'm wonderful? Or am I wonderful? Thank you, that's because quite enough. <clears throat> all right, moving on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, just getting back to uh, who you wanted to be when you grew up. Uh, things like who were your teen idols or who did you look up to? Let's see. Um, mm, number 32. Well, I, I always loved Diana Ross because you know you, she sang that song, Babe Love, okay, Love, next. Babe Love. Uh, you on the end. Me? Yeah. I'd always want to be just like Albert Einstein, because, you know, he was too busy thinking about really important things like relativity and gravity, and he, he never bo b bothered to, to wor okay, worry Okay, next. <clears throat> Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> uh, right. Um, the uh, Hawaii Five O thing there. Me? Yeah, you. Oh. Well, I always have thought about running for president. <laughs> Um, excuse me, you on the floor. Ariel? Yeah, are, are you all right down there? I, I mean, can we uh, get something for you? Well, I guess it would kind of be nice if somebody could get me my saltwater bottle. Sure, no problem. Uh, uh, third from the end, can you go get her uh, saltwater bottle? Um, it's by my dingle hopper in the green bag. Uh, look, I don't mean to be personal, but um, were you born that way? Well, all the daughters of Triton are born like this. Uh, never mind. Um, look, you have a beautiful singing voice, and um, I know this was an open audition, but um, you seem to have a little trouble keeping up with the other dancers. <laughs> look, um, this show has a lot of tap in it, and uh, there might be a little <laughs> oh, problem that's with... that's okay. I just have to teach them how to flap. I'm watching fish go splish and splash. Said Ben, they're done that. Old hat could flip my fins right off the bat. Don't want to do that. I'm tired of that. One morning, what's that word again? Oh, one morning, swam right by a dance class. I heard them tapping on the floor. I said, I gotta see more so. Forty-second Street and got that beat in nothing flat. Well, they can do tap. Now their turn to flap. I see you staring at my tail. It's true, I'm not like you. These scales can flop like they can do tap. I can do this. That I can do, I can do flap. Thank you. That was, uh, that was different. <laughs> really, uh, very original. <laughs> Get the hook! No, it was just a, it was a fish joke. I was just trying to... Never mind. <clears throat> no, actually, uh, that was, uh, rather interesting. Um, might actually be able to use it in the show, but, um, a little concerned about the size of this tail. It's a little large. Is there any way that we can, um, Trim it down a little, or maybe fold it over, or... Probably not. <laughs> and the, uh, the color. I don't know about that. See, the costumes are kind of a cream. 
ivory. Is there any way we can like put some contact paper on there, or maybe some spray paint? Is it dolphin safe or okay. something? Never mind. <laughs> I guess we'll just move on to the next part of the audition here. Um, uh, the next part of the audition is having to do with the dancing in the show. It's really going to depend on the dancers that I put in the show because it's not really set yet, so I just need to go over my notes here and make sure that uh, I have them correct. So uh, if we could just kind of skip around here. Um, let's see, what was your number again? I was number three. Number three. And uh, what dance experience do you have? Um, I had six years of tap and jazz. And jazz. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. um, let's see here. Uh, do, um, how about you? Oh, uh, well, I did a lot of dancing at court ballet. Have you ever seen Cinderella? Right. You don't like... You court know? court yeah. ballet. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what about you? Uh, well, I was the champion hoedowner back in Greenacres for three years in a row. Hoedown? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, let's see here. Um, what about you? Fifteen years of ballet, tap, jazz, and modern. Why doesn't he see me? Ballet! I'm a natural. He's got to see me at my finest. He's got to see me at my best. He's just like my father. Father always hoped that I grow to play sport. That's what he said. That's what he said. Dreadful was rugby and tedious was cricket. And soccer was my very last chance. Though I wasn't good, I tried as hard as I could. Father never understood. I wasn't a sport. Mother always said I'd be very attractive when I grew up, when I grew up. Different, she said, with a special something and a very, very personal look. Although she couldn't see what was so clear to me, no different I would be. I had a hook. Though different is nice, but it sure isn't pretty. Pretty is what it's about. I never met anyone with a hook. Who couldn't figure that out? So, Mum and Dad... <laughs> Just one second. <laughs> I never lived to please. <laughs> but it was clear. If not to them, well, then to me. Yes, everything is beautiful. At the ballet, every prince has got to have his swan. Yes, everything is beautiful at the ballet. I was happy at the ballet. But it was clear, when I played sport, that I was hopeless on the playing field. But deep inside, I could not hide. I used to dance around the starboard bow. But no one could see but Mr. Smee. He was a buccaneer and he'd say, Hooky, do you want to dance? And i say, Smee, I would love to. Yes, everything is beautiful at the ballet. Raise your arm and someone's always there. Yes, everything is beautiful at the ballet. The ballet. The ballet. Everything 
was beautiful at the ballet. I was happy, I would love to at the ballet. All right. Uh, now, I know that you're all tired, and this audition is almost over, but there's only one more question that I want to ask you. Now, I know that you're all dedicated performers, and you all have a love for the theater and the stage. But what do you think you would do if you found out that you could no longer sing or dance? Number 14? Hi. Well, first I'd cry really, really hard because this is my life. This is everything to me. And then I guess I'd have to come to grips with reality. And although it might surprise some of these people, I'm only 17 years old. So I guess I'd go do what every other 17-year-old does. I'd go back to high school and move home with my family and do all the things that I never gotten a chance to do. Okay. Number 22. Um, I, I guess I could always go back to my parents' accounting firm. I mean, if I had to. But this is what I love. <clears throat> Number 27. First of all, it'll be the worst day of my life. But I guess I can always go back and teach, I guess. Well, it's a question we'll all face. I mean, there's soon be a day that we can no longer stand on this line. What about the rest of you? Well, uh, if any of you are out, out of work, you're welcome at the palace. <laughs> 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 What about you? Well, I'd move to Nashville and open a school for little people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? I'd probably have to go back to shoveling manure back on the farm. Well, okay. What about you? Well, I'd buy a dog pound, and then I'd take the pathetic little mutt and rip their heads off and Thank skin you. them and turn right. them into beautiful coats Great. like these. Great. Thank you. That's, that's enough. <clears throat> what about you? I think I'd start the first whatchamacallit museum. What about you? Well, I would be done moving around, so I guess I would go home and marry Lindsay. She's the love of my life. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, you've all been wonderful today. And before I read the names of those I've selected, I just want to say that you're all terrific. And I wish that I could hire all of you, but I can't. Will the following people please step forward? Number 24, number 32, number 19, number 42. I knew it. Oh, um, look, I'm sorry. Number 19, can you step back, please? Number 27, number 22, and... Prince. Frontline, thank you very much, but I'm sorry. As for the rest of you, rehearsals begin in late September with a two-week trial and a out-of-town opening that will start in December. You will all get the standard contract. Oh, and what, I, what's in a standard contract? Uh, you'll find out when you get it. I just want to congratulate all of you. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Rehearsal will start in two weeks. Every show 
has its beginning. It all starts with an empty stage and the line. A line that, at the end of the day, will determine who will be given the chance to step into the spotlight. A line that leaves others feeling rejected, yet realizing that someday they will be back knowing there's a spot on this line for them. It all starts with the audition. Each audition has the talented and the persistent, the hopeful and the thank you, maybe next time. The beautiful and the who's your surgeon? The young and the aspiring. And yes, the audition often has the stars that once were, who are now slightly faded. Their love of the theater gives them the passion to just be in the chorus, even if their days in the spotlight are past. This process to find the best can be nauseating, exciting. I mean, it, it can seem like time has stopped. And in the same heartbeat, time can instantly disappear. For you know you could do better if you only had another chance. You evaluate. You did great that time. How can that person sing like that? I know I got the combination that time. What, what if I looked like, wait, wasn't in the show that? The mind can tire quickly and still you find the energy to do it again and again and again. All because you want to be on that line. Sun and 
Love me just enough Cry but not too often Play but not too rough Keep a tender distance So we'll both be free That's the way it ought to be I'm ready Marry me a little Do it with a will Make a few demands I'm able to fulfill Want me more than others, not exclusively That's the way it ought to be I'm ready, I'm ready now You can be my best friend I can be your right arm We'll go through a fight or two, no harm, no harm. We'll look not too deep, we'll go not 
but too far we won't have to give up a thing we'll stay who we are right okay then i'm ready i'm ready now someone marry me a little body heart and soul passionate as hell but always in control keep a tender distance so we'll both be free that's the way it ought to be i'm ready marry me a little love me just enough warm and sweet and easy just the simple stuff keep a tender distance so we'll both be free that's the way it ought to be I'm ready, I'm ready now. Oh, how gently we'll talk. Oh, how softly we'll tread all the stings, the ugly things we'll keep unsaid. We'll build a cocoon. Of love and respect You promised whatever you like I'll never collect Right? Okay then I'm ready I'm ready now Someone I'm ready I'm
Good evening. Now I have to tell you that as a freshman at WSU, one of my favorite things about going to school there is that there are just fine men everywhere, everywhere I go. And I can't help but look. So, uh, but for some reason, my good friend Devin just hasn't been able to find quite the perfect man until today. And let me tell you, he is something, and he is here. Let's see, where is he? Are they bringing him out here? Oh, it's you, already. So uh, my good friend Devin is going to tell you how things are going to be this evening and uh, sing a little song called Peel Me a Grape. So uh, have a good time there. And believe. 
We've had a great time tonight. You have been a wonderful audience, and we're glad you're here. Tomorrow night, the Spokane will be Crips Company for their final show of the 1998-99 academic season. I thought it happened in the 40s, but right now I'm telling you, it's as popular in the 90s as it's ever been. It's something that I think people call swing. It is hot all over campus, everywhere you go. Our final number, ladies and gentlemen, Big City. Hits the street, hits up, down, down.
you wait, I'm gonna miss the moon. I'm in the moon. Huh?